Okay, that's bright. I think you can see, and I think it's going to be full screen. So, hi, welcome back to Terry. I got a new phone. Pokemon stopped three days ago on my phone, working, opening it. And then today, my old phone of three and a half years just decided it hated me and would not come on. Then it just came on, and then it would just die, die, die. So I went and got me a new phone. It's an LG Escape Plus. I don't know. We shall see. I just did a video of six seconds. It seems to be full frame. Cross my fingers. I went and did two Dollar Trees today. Um, we needed drinks. My brother needed um, the big orange, you know, the 2.75 orange drinks so I got him those I am not grocery shopping yet I still have a few things I want to finish out um and then I need to actually do a pant uh, shell pantry back room whatever I need to go through and do an inventory and see what we have because I have just been buying stuff again and just letting it sit so I need to kind of look what I have and kind of base meals on that I know I'm pretty wiped out in the freezer um but I also have a really big thing of ice in there that I'm also trying to get rid of that we brought back from Wichita Falls. Yeah, I don't know. So I need to do that. So I just grabbed a bag of raviolis, a bag of meatballs, and a bag of peas and carrots. Because I can't find those at Walmart and I like to keep those on hand for shepherd's pie. Um, and then I think that was pretty much... Oh, and a thing of eggs and then a surge. So I think that's pretty much the food, most of it. Yeah. And then at Walgreens, I took advantage of the buy one, get one on, they have them on their taco dinners, which here in Texas, they're $4.19 for the hard and soft. But I got their um, tortillas because the bread store was out, and so was Dollar Tree. They're $2.19, but I figure you get 24 of them, so it's not that big of a deal. They are more like a typical tortilla size. And then I also did took advantage of their water, two for $4.99. There is a 50 cent off coupon on Walgreens.com, the digital app. And then you also get 500 points back. So that was a good deal. And I don't know what else I got. Oh, I got two more Voss waters. They are $1.79 each, so $3.58. But then you get a dollar back from um, Checkout 51. Making it two fifty eight, which I know kind of seems high for Voss water, but um, I'm using the bottles for sensory things. They're nice, tall, skinny bottles. I think Freebie guys said the tangerine and lemon ones are on clearance. I'm not sure if those work or not. But I've been rattling for three minutes, so let me show you my Dollar Tree haul. I'm trying to think, what else did we do today? Went to my local grocery store, Brookshire Brothers, and found some really cute crystal dollar little mason jars everybody's been going crazy about the ball mason jars at, at dollar tree i saw one today but i just uh, i don't i don't know i mean can't you get a case of them at walmart for cheap i don't know so i saw these have not seen anybody haul these these were in with the summer stuff that you know usually is typically at the front of your store the seasonal stuff the my store is a dollar this dollar tree is a dollar tree plus I've noticed some of their banner, just regular party stuff they have put up to kind of fill in the summer stuff because they don't have a lot of summer stuff. And these were up there, and I don't know <clears throat> what these are made of. Helps if I show you. But it's these banners. It's a do-it-yourself banner, a DIY banner. They're seven feet. And I thought they were canvas. Is there a pause on this? Yeah, I don't think they're canvas because you can kind of tell there's a sheen, but they're not really satin. They're pretty tough, but I don't know. I liked them because they were already done. Put a sticker or put an iron on. I thought that was pretty cool. And then it comes with your baker's twine. They actually, I went to the party section, and they actually have quite a few metallic banners. Normally, I just see like the paper ones that say happy birthday, but they have like metallic silver, blue, and a purplish pink. And um, awesome, celebrate um something every have a every day or they were some pretty cool banners go check out your party section so my kid is going into the sixth grade and his handwriting's atrocious it's not him it's just autism and adhd and who really needs curse up these days i saw these and yes they're second to third grade but um he is going to be practicing stuff this summer so i thought these are good if your kid needs handwriting they also have just the regular hand um handwriting so i like 
um, steak pretzels, and I just don't feel like going to Walmart right now. And um, it, we, they usually always have the bow tie ones and the rod ones. Very rarely do they have the stick ones. So I went ahead and got those because I prefer the stick ones. I either got to cut my hair or do something with my hair. I don't know what. My ponytails, my hair is clean. And when it's clean and slick and it's just thick, once they wear out, they just don't want to stick and might stay in my hair. And that's why we find them all over. That's why I'm constantly buying new packs of them. I saw this. I thought this was cute for summer. It's like a satiny watermelon head wrap head thing. I don't know. We'll see. They usually don't stay in my hair. I think it was Cheap Crafty Girl that showed these. I am really into when I do lists, writing in one color and then marking it out in another color. It helps me see it more. And I am slowly running out of colored other than black and blue. So I saw these and these are assorted and you get eight of them. And I like this brand. I think these are the... I think when I get my black ones, I think that's what I get this brand. I don't know. Um, and I love cookie pins. Um, everybody has been showing these, and I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree, but I just thought this was a really fun shape for something. Um, so I picked up two of these in the blue. Actually, I might, I need to go get some pool noodles. Um, they have really thin ones at the Dollar Tree, so I might go to Walmart and get some of the bigger ones. But I kind of want to do some circles or this and like... Oh, what gladiators old school gladiators where they hit each other with something similar or maybe like ring toss I don't know. We'll see two of those. I thought that was pretty cool Everybody has been hauling those so we went to my mom's I left <laughs> my black and white bag That is a whiter bag and then my watermelon bag Which I just bought and I cannot find again. I'm finding the blue good vibes one But I needed a whiter bag and this it was either this or some blue glittery flowers so yeah, left two bags up in Wichita Falls, so I bought a bag today. So when I bought those pretzels, the, man she, the manager actually checked me out. She goes, I have some boxes of two for a dollar pretzels up there I'm trying to get rid of. I did not check the expiration date. What is the expiration date? Oh, June 20, 2020. Uh, close enough. But these were two for a dollar instead of just being a dollar. All I saw was rods. Um... So, I thought I could probably keep these to July. We'll see. I don't know. Do something cute, beachy, roll them in some chocolate, something like that. This is always a good product to have on hand. I don't know if I have an extra one, but I always like to keep this because this, I fold this in half and this is what we use in our toaster oven and it works really well. I just, alum, the regular aluminum foil just drives me bananas. Um, for my brother, these six packs of Austin crackers. Which I'm not sure if it is a good deal, but I went ahead and got him two packs of those. I don't know who it was. Cheap Southern Mom. It was somebody else that was showing summer hacks that I saw on YouTube. She was doing bubbles and some other, I don't know, a couple crafts with a screen. And with a splatter screen. Now this one has a handle. The one she was using, she put over a bowl to do something with. And I did see that one, but I like this one just in case I decide to not use it for crafts and actually use it for a skillet. It has like a pot lid handle here, and then it's still like this. But I like the handle just in case I do use that. Um, my son is all about these stupid sand toys. He finds different shapes, but he uses them for towers and whatnot for his army saw. So that was a new one. And then I think he already has this one, but there's that one. And then... I don't know why. I hate when he wants these things. Special feature. What? Oh, this is one of those Baja Blazers Hyper Rocker. I don't know. Kind of looks like Spider-Man. Um, I cannot find Head and Shoulders at my Walmart, at my Berkshire Brothers, at my Target. It's just driving me crazy. I don't. Dollar General, I can't find Head and Shoulders. And my hair is driving me crazy. I'm going to try this Sauce Whisper one. They have VO5 too, but it was only conditioner, so it, this is compared to head and shoulders. So, hopefully, because my hair gets so dry in the summer, and it just drives me crazy. And it's so thick that I can't wash it every day, because if I wash it every day, then it just, it just, yeah. So, some of the sensory crafts that I want to do, I want to do, like, oil and vinegar, and then, like, baby gel and food coloring, and kind of stuff like that. Kind of lava lamp style stuff. So, I saw this. 
um, baby oil gel. They used to have a bigger bottle, but I didn't see that. So, I'm hoping... They had this on an end cap, which has lavender and chamomile. Um, I bet this smells really good. Ooh, no. That does not smell really good. Anyway. Sensory things. Uh, and he, they did not have his regular titty bit... Or, no. Tidy bits. Chunk. Whatever. Pineapple. So, he got a big can. Um, they did not have the regular huge Mama Jamba yellow labeled soy sauce I got. They had actual La Choy soy sauce. Went ahead and got the, uh, I'm over 10 minutes. I wasn't sure what my panko situation was. They used to have the 4C ones. I think I finally ran out of that. Now these have these Japanese style panko by Colonial. I'm not sure if I picked up one of these or not, but this is a huge 7 ounce for a dollar. And then because for some reason beef broth at my Dollar Tree goes like crazy and my H-E-B goes like crazy. When I see it, I pick it up because I use this for shepherd's pie and for beef tips and just, yeah. And then, oh, uh, what else? Oh, cereal. Ah, everybody also has been hauling this cereal. When you can find name brand cereal for a dollar, yes, get it. This does not expire until December. Who cares? That is St. Patrick's Day. Love me some, uh, Lucky Charms. And I got two bags of that. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I got a few food, item, food items. And I think that's it. So, thank you for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.